Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to know about TSEAM set syllabus and the examination pattern. Now, we all know that before we prepare for any exam, it is not just the topics that you are gathering for preparation. You should also be well aware as to how the marking system is, the scheme of the examination, how is the pattern designed of the examination, as well as the syllabus which is considered for preparation so that you would have a clear perspective and organized preparation through examination pattern you would have a structural idea of exam and through syllabus you can consider only the set syllabus as well as the set topics instead of randomly studying everything for the exam so in order to get all of this at one place you have to head over to exams.freshesnow.com in order to do that you have to first head over to google and search for TSEAM set syllabus precious now so once if you search the first link that you are going to see here is from precious now just have a click on this you would be landing over to this particular page where every detailed information regarding examination pattern and syllabus is provided in one page for convenient reading itself starting with the basic introduction of the exam as we all know about the examination briefs and then you are having a look over what is the examination structure or the subjects are like which is going to be for 160 marks and the subjects which are included are physics, chemistry and mathematics, botany and zoology. Now the total time limit or the total examination time is it's going to be for three hours and you have to check over this page in order to get all of the essential information. Before I get into the details I would like to tell you all that you have to join our telegram channel why because all of the information which is regarding to this particular entrance exams and various other information which is related to this is quite informatively and instantly given in our telegram channel so don't miss this out also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the button below so that you would not miss out on any of the videos which we are providing for an easy and convenient preparation now let's get over to the overview of the examination pattern and how you have to be having a structural idea so the name of the organization is Telangana State Engineering Agriculture and Medical Common Entrance Exam also called as TSEAM set and this is organized by Telangana State Council of Higher Education you can always head over to tsche.ac.in if you want to verify the information or if you want to know any of the updates regarding the exam. So the examination pattern or the scheme of the exam is going to look something like this. This is very sectionized so that you have you can have a very clear perspective. As you can see, you have three different subjects here, mathematics, physics and chemistry. For physics and chemistry, you have 40 questions in each section carrying 40 marks only for mathematics you have 80 questions carrying for 80 marks one mark would be given for each of the correct answer please note that there is no negative marking so answer everything do not leave anything empty just give your answers there is no negative marking here for any incorrect option there is one mark given for each correct answer so total 160 questions of for 160 marks now for agriculture and medical now what we have looked into this is for engineering background and for agricultural and background for this particular subjects the sectionization is look, going to look something like this you have botany and zoology physics and chemistry now for physics and chemistry again you have 40 questions in each carrying for 40 marks and only for botany and zoology you have 80 questions carrying for 80 marks again even for these subjects you don't have any negative marking but for every correct answer you would be getting one mark total of 160 questions would be given to you carrying for 160 marks now that you have understood all of the information related to the examination pattern for this particular exam you have to also know that this examination is conducted either in English or Telugu and English and Urdu languages English and Telugu 
or English and Urdu. So you, it's up, it is bilingual. So it is about up to the convenient of the candidate. This is an objective type or MCQ based exam. The streams of the exam is engineering, medical and agricultural. So engineering streams would be covering out mathematics, physics and chemistry, biology, botany, zoology, physics and chemistry, which are subjects which are related to the medical and agriculture streams. So as we all know, the examination duration is going to be for three hours. This is the examination pattern or the scheme of the marking for this particular exam. We are now heading over to the syllabus part. Now why you have to know the syllabus for the exam? So syllabus will help you to pick out the topics which are related to the exam and not just randomly study everything. So in order to keep your time management in space, you have to make sure that you are having structural syllabus in front of you so that you would have be having a check of over all the topics or the subjects that you are covering. Starting off with physics. Now in physics, you have different topics which are related. So we will be starting off with the main topics. So the first one is physics world, units and measurements, motion in a straight line, motion in a plane, what are the different laws in motion, then work, energy and power, systems of practicalities, uh, rational motion, the oscillations which are related and then gravitation, mechanical properties of solids, fluids and matter, thermal properties of matter and then thermodynamics, kinetic energy, waves, uh, ray optics and optical instruments. Then you have wave optics, electrical charges and fields, electrostatic potential capabilities, current electricity, moving charges and its magnetism, magnetism and matter, then alter alternating current, electromagnetic induction, dual uh, nature of radiation and matter, atoms, nuclei, semiconductor, electric, electric, electronics, communications systems. Then you have the next subject which is chemistry. So in physics we have covered all of the fundamental topics which are for the exam. Next it's for chemistry. For chemistry you have atomic structure, classification of the elements and the periodic city of in properties. Then you have chemical bonding and the molecular structures. You also have the different concepts which are related to it. So make sure that you are covering up everything. And then you have thermodynamics, chemical equilibrium, hydrogen and its compounds. Then we have the different block elements, the S block, the P block. And again in this block elements, there are different groups or families which are belonging to it. So make sure that you are covering up all the relevant information, all the relevant different concepts or the sub topics which are related to the same unit. So as you can see, for S block elements, you have alkyl and alkane earth metals. Then for P block, you have boron family. Then for uh, P, block, P block group 14, you have carbon family. Then you have organic chemistry, solid state solutions, the electrochemistry services. You have again block elements, the D and F block elements and the coordinations uh, which are in between biomolecules and organic compounds, organic compounds which are containing nitrogen and further elements. So these are the topics for chemistry. Heading over to the next subject which is mathematics. Now we all know the basic fundamentals of mathematics is going to be starting out from algebra. So right from algebra you would be getting into various concepts like probabilities, calculus, trigonometry, vector algebra, coordinate geometry. Covering out the basic core foundations of mathematics are given here. Next botany you have starting with the basic concepts like diversity in living world structural organization in plants, the, then you have the reproduction, then you have uh, how this reproduction is further into the plant systematics, the cell structures and their further functions, importance and various other concepts, internal organization of plants, the ecology of plants, the genetic physiology, micro, microbiology and then molecular biology, biotechnology, plants, microbes and the human welfare which is related to it. Biology and its different topics are covered. Then we are heading over to zoology again it's the same we are starting out with the core components which are which is going to be zoology and its diversity of the living world how are the structural organization is going to be like the animal diversity again in animal diversity and human anatomy you have different parts in this part one and part two so when you are reading or when you are preparation make sure that you are covering both of the parts equally because you have various topics and subtopics which are related to it 
so especially for animal diversity and human anatomy then you have biology and human welfare genetics and applied biology then you have human reproduction so all of these topics are related to the zoology section if you have any other questions or any other queries for us do place them in the comment section we would be happy to answer thank you so much for tuning in till the end don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this thank you